it's held up well, <laughs> well 65 yeah, years later, right? It is. Catalina High School in Midtown was brand new when Ray Lindstrom first walked into the cafeteria. By the time he was a senior in 1959, Ray and his good friend Bert Snyder would make Tucson rock and roll history. We were at a high school dance after a basketball game. This is 1959, rock and roll has just kind of started and it's, it's really a big deal. And so Jack Wallace and the High Tones, they were on stage and they were performing at the dance and girls were screaming. You are the one. They were yelling and everything and I turned to my friend Bert and I said, I said, Bert, let's start a record company and record these guys. And so we did. The two 17-year-old Catalina High School seniors knew nothing about making a record, but they saw an ad in Billboard magazine for a place in Phoenix that pressed records, and Ray gave them a call. I'm a high school kid in Tucson. I want to make a record. What do I do? And the guy spent one minute telling me, he says, well, there's no recording studio in Tucson. Come to Phoenix and you can record it here, and then I'll come over and get it, and I'll press the copies of it for you, and then there's your record. Ray and uh, Bert, I think, came to my house, and we played, and they said, okay, we like this, we like this, and let's go. Bingo, we had a record. On February 7th, 1959, just eight days after that school dance, Ray and Bert had Jack Wallace and the High Tones in the studio of Audio Recorders of Arizona. Little did they know, Jack Miller, a future Grammy award-winning engineer, would be there to help them. He went on to, to Hollywood and became a famous engineer. He recorded Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. Well, he was our engineer at the beginning of this. It, within a week, it was pressed, and, and the Tucson radio stations, who were just happy to have a local group, they were playing the record. And then we were selling the records to the local record stores. Tell me why Zoom? Where did that come from? It just kind of popped into our minds and we thought it was nice and catchy and you know, it was Zoom record. We started to record other groups. We recorded Pete Ronstadt and the Night Beats. Before you travel on. Pete Ronstadt would later become police chief in Tucson. His younger sister, Linda Ronstadt, went on to even more musical success. His sister would be around, you know, yeah. messing around. We'd tell her, get lost, kid. It's a serious <laughs> business, right? Yes. Well, that was my first yeah. mistake. Later in the summer of 1959, Zoom Records also recorded another Catalina High School group called King Rock and the Knights. And then, as fast as Zoom Records took off, it was over. You know, everybody went away to college and or did what they were going to do, and it was just, it was a, just, a, we all grew up. Ray went on to work as a live announcer on Kega 9 in the early 1960s, even doing live commercials and appearing on the Marshall Kagan show as Tom Tom, the world's tallest clown. He's also credited with inventing the infomercial industry in 1984. It led to Ray's induction into the Arizona Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Today, thanks to the internet and music streaming services, Zoom Records is enjoying a resurgence. All of a sudden, all of our records are everywhere, and they love old American rock and roll in Europe. Did you make any money off of it? Not a dime. <laughs> <laughs> but we sure had a lot of fun, and I tell you what, I wouldn't change it for the world. The world continues to enjoy the 1959 music of Tucson's first record label and the absolutely Arizona history of two Catalina High School seniors who created Zoom Records.